Man, all right. It's Christmas morning, but I shipped some packages early and opened up a couple of these ones. No knife needed from the beginning. Um, I'm gonna get into some shape decks, some reissues. This video is gonna be fun. If you're looking for some reissues or some shape decks that came out over the last 10 or 15 years, I'm trying to like run back my memory bank on boards like this SMA Nautis deck. I think this was a uh, anniversary of some sorts, or maybe not. This was before they did the uh, anniversary version, but it's just a blue metallic dipped Nautis Panther, uh, Panther 3. Um, with that Santa Monica Airlines homage, like, man, this is just a beautiful board. This has got so much attention, it led to like the, the blind bag series that people were just loving, which we have some of those, hit us up about those. Um, I'm hoping you're sitting down to a nice lunch for us to tell you, yeah, pretty much, that's the message, no, I'm just kidding. Just a classic Salva deck, Salva Cruise from forever ago. I don't know, Salva's shape was just, had a huge tail, I mean, huge nose. Definitely started changing the vibe. I like this uh, dipped fluorescent green Rob Roscoff, just the uh, Rob Target. Bunch of reissues to get in here today. Uh, and dude, this must be around the same time they did these. This is the Neptune 2, metallic green, just rad shape with this fun top graphic, just like with all the, the detailing on like the tattoos on Neptune, just a really good board to walk by and look at every day. For some reason the mermaid's sideways. I don't know, some logic behind that somewhere. But then here's the other uh, Jason, Jesse's Sun God, Santa Cruz Pro Series, it's a metallic purple, Definitely some gems of uh, reissues from Santa Cruz. You missed them, or looking to get one of these that if they hit you at a certain time in your life or whatever, you know, hit us up, man. Talk to us, man, because we have so many things to show. And like, like I say in all the videos, it's not about us, dude. We want to pretend like we're not pretending. We are behind the counter in the shop. We want to talk to you guys. We want to have dialogue. So please hit us up in the comments or the Instagram or emails or all those things you can find super easy. But um, thanks for jamming with us on these videos. I got some cool ones, right? Dogtown decks. These are uh, more recent reissues of these uh, graphics. This is more of a functional shape, A375, just of the old graffiti down at Venice. Uh, these boards are awesome with the air airbrush spray or spray paint spray around, just that whole stencil vibe with the wheel wells is awesome. Awesome Dogtown decks and then, um, I'll show that one in a second. How about that? Suicidal, Possessed Escape. They re they're remaking these a bunch, but they changed the color combo. So like, I'm not sure if these are, are current. I, I've looked at the catalog recently, but um, just fun with the natural uh, green stain veneer behind the suicidal graphics. And uh, definitely, definitely pretty rad right there. Another one here, just a little bit wider. It's a nine inch square tail. Whoa, square tail, just throwing shit. <laughs> We are more careful, trust me. But uh, oh, then there's one more Dogtown, just a classic. But this shape's got some fun elements to it on the nose and tail. I mean, some of these boards uh, are collectible. Some of these boards are a little more recent. So we're hitting these up, showing you guys as a preview before we get them online. But I think these would be something similar to like a regular price deck, you know, under a hundred dollars or something like that. Then we got the blind reissue series. The Solardi, the Sora, the Looney Tunes series, and another one of the Lardis, a little duplicate with the, the Vulture. Big wide shape, 9.4, resin 7, like throw on some friggin' 169s with some size 42 wheels, slap some curves, hit some rocks, have fun. <laughs> older Santa Cruz Everest like they took these away for a long time but uh, just a collage series 8.5 they've been bringing those back a little bit here and there but that's a that's an old that's a little bit of an older one 
don't know exactly the year. Oh, check this one out. How about 2016 Cab Dragon? The blue. Pops right off that color, that blue, that gold dragon. Shout out to Steve Cab. Then there's this guy on the opposite side of the spectrum of sandy. Um, it's a cool gator deck. Uh, Mr. Welder. Yeah, this is 2014 White Dips. Um, Powell Pearl to pair Wellender. Pretty rad. Pretty cool deck. Uh, Mike B, dude, I don't know when this one came out. This would have been probably in a similar time frame. It, the time's cut off on it, but it's, a, it's that yellow board. My friend Ray was really into this board. Skated it all the time. This was his shape. And then, ah, speaking of Ray, here's the real, real Ray. Mr. Ray Barbie. Thank you, Ray. You know what's up. This is one of the best dudes I've ever had a chance to interact with in skateboarding. Uh, has ears, less mouth. And that's, to me, really important. Someone who likes to listen. And also, ask questions. Important things. <laughs> We're a basic humanity. How about these Steve Stedham reissues? The opposite color ply on these ones. Um, pretty rad. Oh, I thought this was a duplicate here, but it's actually not. So this one says, oh, because these ones are made with uh, Stedham skate. These aren't PAL decks right here. This one and the other one are not PAL decks. Steve made his own. They have different graphics on them, but it's the same shape. Stedham Skate Industries, collectible limited edition. So these boards are, you know, one's a 2013 power issue, and the other one's just uh, Steve had that mold and that shape made up. It's pretty dope. Steve Stedham out there. Ah, oh, get that cutter. Oh man, I think this is a stack of elephants. At least I saw an elephant graphic on the bottom and the top. This was Mike B's um, brand before he. Uh, Moved some things around, but uh, this was a, a wager for a while. How about this elephant brand? This reminds me of like a polar deck. Might even be the same artist. I don't know. Just like, yeah, that. So interesting choice there on that graphic, guys. And then another one of the Sora, Blonde decks, Krell Tap, Big Body. Um, comes with a sticker sheet on the bottom. You can like make your own graphic on it. It's pretty dope. Here's like a standard. Oh, hey, Algira, a soy board. So this is a reissue with the um, soy. Uh, more recently, made in USA board. Pretty dope. Uh, what do we got here? We got a creature sketchy tank. Navarette, man, like tattoo flash. Just cool skeleton key style stuff. I think this board is pretty dope. The creature did a few collabs with Sketchy Tank. It was extremely like made sense uh, every which way. How about tired and destroyed? Tired skateboards. Funny there. What is this? Ah, uh, just a fun little. Santa Cruz logo reissue. It's got some textures on the foils. Pretty dope. Got a couple of them and then another duplicate of the Santa Cruz. So, man, these shapes are, are fun. I couldn't imagine skating in 1991 or 88 and like being so defined with your skate style to your shape. I mean, it's still like that today, but like functionality on some of these things is just kind of out there, but. Thanks for joining us for lunchtime. We got some more stacks for tomorrow. So check back in with us. Comment, hit us up. Let's talk skate. See you guys soon. Later.